Welcome back to BT. Thanks for joining us on this Tuesday morning. Well, residents who live in Vancouver's Strathcona neighborhood are protesting this morning over the neighborhood's tent city. And joining us now is Jamie McLaren, the pro one of the protest organizers. Thanks for joining us this morning. I'm happy to be here. Thanks for having me. So how has your life changed for you and your neighbors since the tent city uh, was moved to Strathcona Park? Well, it's changed quite quite radically. It's been four long months here in the neighborhood without any government help or intervention, and we've seen our our safety conditions deteriorate. We've seen uh, property crime in increase. We've seen violent encounters. It's been a, a steady stream of of, uh, of stressful stressful encounters and, and and incidents here. So we're we're really at wit's end, and and we've decided we we need to do something about it. Can you be a little bit more specific on some of the violent encounters that you've seen? Yeah, there's been, um, you know, we know that there's been a, just recently someone chasing uh, passersby with a, an activated chainsaw, which is obviously very concerning. Uh, prior to that, there were children being um, uh, abused, verbally abused, and one picked up and shaken in a in our, in our uh, nearby park, McLean Park, which is a family park primarily. Um, and we know there was a stabbing in, in the camp uh, about a month or ago or so, you know, there's, these things are, are increasing and we worry that eventually left unattended, left unattreated, that this will become a, a situation where there'll be, uh, you know, uh, fatal, fatal tragedies. And do you feel safe, Jamie, personally? I, I feel somewhat safe. You know, I, I worry for um, my son. Certainly, I have a, we have a four-year-old son who goes to school uh, two blocks over and has, you know, to, um, you know, we've taught him to to understand what, what needles are and, and, and use condoms and all the rest of it. This is nothing new to Strathcona, but, but what is new are, 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 are people who uh, sometimes are in a state of psychosis or, or some kind of distress who um, act very irrationally, and it's very hard to explain that to, to a, a young child. Absolutely. So tell us about the protest that's happening this morning. Yeah, well, we've had this protest plan for a, a little while. It's um, one of our strategies. We also have a, a strategy, it's a tax resistance strategy, where we're, we're getting, um, we've had 2,000 of our neighbors um, sign and support a declaration of withholding taxes until such time as our government spend our, our tax money more equitably and more compassionately. And so that's been very successful. And now we're, we're taking it to the next level, which is a protest here today. Um, we expect about 200 or plus of our housed and unhoused neighbors to come out and, and make their voices heard. Uh, we've invited camp leadership to, to speak to media. And we just want to make sure that, that all levels of government know that this is a pressing issue. We, we see it as a humanitarian crisis that deserves and, and needs uh, disaster relief efforts from government. This is not a, a partisan issue. This is. This is beyond politics, and yet our politicians are completely idle. And are you just hoping for a general decrease in, in crime, or does it bother you that people are living there in tents? What are you hoping for from this protest? Yeah, well, I mean, first and foremost, I hope that people get housed, you know, and get safe, sustainable housing and, and find community and, and a place where they can lift themselves up. You know, that's, that's the key here. We don't want more displacement just to go to unsafe places. You know, uh, we, we, we really truly wish that, that uh, government will step up and find temporary housing solutions to bridge uh, unhoused uh, residents of Vancouver to, to more permanent housing solutions. And, and we strongly believe that more public housing is needed. We have a strong and very positive legacy in Strathcona of public housing projects. And we, we believe that's, that more of that is needed. All right, Jamie, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you. All right, that is uh, Jamie McLaren, one of the residents who is living in Strathcona. He is protesting this morning for a safe neighborhood, demanding the government do something about the tent city. We're going to take a break. Lots